Hello, this is SJ Talks of Life coming back at you with another video. Um, today is June 4th, 2022. The video I did before this one was also June the 4th, and I stated the wrong date. <laughs> so, they're going to be back to back, so. Um, there was, we had, we've had another mass shooting. We've had another mass shooting in Oklahoma, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, this man shot, went to a medical center and shot four people, including himself. I think he killed himself. He shot four people <coughs> in the medical office. And then he shot himself. Guess what the reason was? The reason why I'm... It's, the reason that he did it is tripping me out. The reason why he did it is tripping me out. Um, and it's um, really, really something that um, kind of hits the home of the reason why he did it. His motive, the reason why he did it. First of all, I'm going to go on record as saying gun violence is not the answer. I don't know if people see these other shootings and then they think it's because they see these other shootings going on. They think it's okay to uh, go and ambush someone. Oh, I suppose I lost my chain of train of thought. But gun violence is not the answer. And like I said, I don't know if people are seeing, they're watching these other people, they're seeing these other people doing these shootings and they feel like maybe that's the way that they can solve their problems or any issue that they're ha having is to go off and shoot people. But I don't know why people think it's okay to result to gun violence when there is an issue, when they're having an issue, when they're having a problem. I don't know why people think it's okay to result to resort to gun violence because it's not okay to resort to violence, gun violence or any kind of violence. Gun violence is definitely not the answer because now he's taken four innocent people's lives. And the reason why, the reason why he did it is really, really it's what shocked me and, and, and kind of put something on my mind. And this is the reason why he did it. This is the reason why he did it. He went, this happened at a medical center. This man had back a back he had a back issue. And he went to a neurosurgeon. I think this guy, now correct me if I'm wrong, I think this guy is a neurosurgeon. Um to perform. Now I don't know what his diagnosis was, the shooter. I don't know what his diagnosis was. Because there's different types of back conditions. I know I have spinal stenosis and um sciatic. I have sciatic and spinal stenosis. I have both. Um, I not. I don't know what his diet, don't quote me because I don't know what his diagnosis was because there's different types of back conditions. Um, but the doctor performed, the doctor that he shot performed surgery on his back last month in May. I think it was two or three weeks ago. Well, after, after back surgery, now I haven't had back surgery, but, um, after any kind of surgery, it takes at least six weeks for the incision and all that stuff to heal. That's six weeks just for the incision and all that stuff to heal. Okay. But sometimes it takes additional time with a situation with your back. They say it takes longer than that. Okay. So, um... It was he only had the surgery like three weeks ago, and he was still dealing with some pain in his back. And I don't know what he expected. I don't know if he expected for the doctor to perform a miracle. I don't know if he expected for the doctor to perform a miracle. I don't know what he expected. But um, you're not going to get any miracles after three weeks. But he was still, allegedly, uh, he was still experiencing a lot of pain. 
And I think I think men, I think us women have a higher pain tolerance. I think men have a lower pain tolerance. It's that they can't take pain, you know, it's hard for, very difficult for men to endure pain. Um, but I think men do have a lower pain tolerance than women, but the back pain is no joke. Back pain is no joke. Um, and um, I know that from my my experiences. And um, like I said, the pain, I guess he was still dealing with some pain. And um, when you're dealing with back issues, when you're dealing with back issues, um, you know, uh, as I said in my video, my other video, uh, my health F update, if you haven't had a chance to check out that video, go check it out. I was talking about how when you're having um, back issues and things like that, it can cause you to be depressed. And he was probably dealing with all the emotions, depression and all the emotions and stuff um, that comes along with that. And, um, and we don't know how long he was enduring all this before he had the surgery, but I heard a lot of people say that the surgery don't work. That's what I heard. And that's why I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to, I'm not so quick to jump up and let these doctors cut on my back because I've heard a lot of people, and even I, I've been reading some of the blogs where they're talking about this situation, and a lot of the people are in the blogs are saying that they had the sur they had back surgery and it didn't work. And um, I've, I'm here a lot of cases where people have back surgeries and it, it either didn't work or it was worse. So the surgery is like a hit and miss. Back surgery is like a hit and miss. And, and it, you know, they do whatever they can to try to relieve your issue, but it's no guarantee that it's really going to do anything for you. That's the back. I mean, we're talking about the spine here. We're not talking about a knee replacement or a shoulder replacement. We're talking about your spine. You know, and sometimes when there, a lot of times when there's issues with your spine, it's irreversible. You know, so this man was still dealing with a lot of pain, and um, I guess he was he he really I guess he went crazy. You know, I guess that he was he must have went crazy. He he must have. I, I guess I don't know what what he expected in three weeks and you know the thing is I've already had a consultation with my um, I had a consultation I go to a neurologist and I had a consultation with um, a back sur the back surgeon in that neurologist's office and he was telling me what all the surgery if I decided to go that route what all it entailed and they go into full details explaining every procedure that they do even with my injections the doctors explained, that doctor explained every detail with me and, and, and what they was going to do and all that kind of stuff. So they go in full details and they explain everything to you. Um, even with my, my situation with my hand, the doctor specifically told me I can't, I can't fix your nerves, but I can release some of the pressure so it won't get worse. So he, he broke down and he broke everything down for me and he explained everything to me. And that's what they're supposed to do. They're, they're, they're supposed to tell you, you know, you know, the risk and they're supposed to be supposed, they're supposed to talk about the risk. They're supposed to talk about, you know, they were supposed to discuss with him and tell him how long he was going to be in pain after that. They were supposed to go, he's supposed to go in full details and doc doctors typically go in full details about all that. And so I, I, they said this doctor was a really good doctor, so I like to think that's what he did. And anyway, I had to pause it again. <laughs> uh, but like I said, you know, do doctors typically go in full details. They're supposed to tell you everything that the surgery entails, your risk and um, whether it's going to work or not, if it does, whatever, or whatever. They're supposed to go into all that. So they said this doctor that he, he killed was a very good doctor. And I, I would like to think that that's what the man did. But sometimes people have a hard time understanding medical, medical, um, um, 
terms and stuff like that. And so, I don't know. I, I don't know this guy. I mean, I, I know that back pain is a booger bear. Because I, I know I'm enduring it myself. And like I said in that video, it's... it's 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 been rough over the past year. My back, it's been rough, and it's gotten worse. And I know that back pain is a booger bear. I know it is. And I know it's hard for people to people uh, can't feel your pain, so they don't know what you're going through. And so that's what you know. A lot of people, um, when they have issues like that, you know, it's it's hard because other people don't have the ability to feel your pain, so they don't know they don't know the full magnitude of what you're dealing with and i think that's a part of the frustration as well and and i guess he's i guess he expected the doctor to perform miracles but doctors can only do so much doctors can't perform miracles they can only do so much you know it's only so much the doctor can do it's only so much they can do. It's like when that injection didn't work, I didn't go get mad at the doctor. Because he he said he didn't, he, didn't, he wasn't sure whether it was going to work or not. And they're actually trying to pinpoint the exact location where, you know, that, you know. So with the next injection I get, it's going to be in a different location than where it was before. So they explained all that to me, you know. So I knew that there was a possibility that it wouldn't work before he did it. So the doctors can only do so much, you know. And so when you're still experiencing pain, you can't get mad at the doctors. They can only do so much, you know. Only thing you can do is just keep praying about it, you know. And so I just it just breaks my heart to know that these people had to lose their life because this guy was thought that the answer to his pain was to take other people's lives. And it wasn't the answer. It's the violence was never and then he he shot somebody uh, 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 he shot another patient that didn't have had nothing to do with it. He shot the receptionist and stuff and I think he shot a nurse. Uh any 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 shots uh, a patient that was just in the office that didn't even have nothing to do with that situation, and then he he killed himself. And you know, I mean, when you're dealing with issues like that, you you got to get therapy, you got to get counseling. You know, because it, it can take a toll on you mentally and emotionally, but when you're doing dealing with that, you got to get help. So I just wish that this guy could have got. He was black, so black folks don't like to get therapy. <laughs> So that's that's the result. It's a, it's a cause and effect. And so he obviously didn't have a relationship with God either. So, but it's just yeah. I just hate that this had to happen. But the, the, the fact that this man killed all these people because he was enduring this pain. It's it wasn't it wasn't the people that he killed. It wasn't their fault. And it wasn't the doctor's fault wasn't the doctor's fault. The doctors can only do so much. Let me know if you've seen the news clip of that. Let me see. If, let me know if you, you, you've seen that in the news. This happened in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And that's the reason why he did it. I just hope that we, they can do something about our gun laws. And people need to quit thinking that they can use gun violence to solve problems because gun violence doesn't solve problems. And I, I just wish that people would stop thinking that gun violence is the answer to, to, to problems or whatever. It's not the answer. So let me know. My heart and prayers just go out to uh, these, these victims of the, sh the shooting and their families and heart and condolences go out to them. But let me know if, in the comment section if you heard about that. It's really sad. Um, and what your thoughts are on it. And um, and until the next video, stay tuned. 
Be blessed.